After the loss of several community members, citizens started coming out and wanting to do something about it. They wanted to help in some way. You don't realize how it affects you or your family until you really start thinking about it. And all of a sudden I had like three or four examples that it's happened around me over like the last seven, six, seven years. The one of the reasons that I am doing this is because I'm really, uh, I'm really scared to, I'm really scared to talk about my mental health. Growing up as an athlete and then competing in college as a cross country and track athlete, I think there is still very much a stigma around mental health. As I was dealing with depression and would get off work every day and just drink, you know, to kind of, I guess, treat my depression. And so after a while, it gets pretty lonely. If you're dealing with something emotional in your life or if you're stressed, then you don't really talk about it. You just kind of suck it up. Over time, you know, it gets, gets pretty bad. You're very depressed and um, you don't know really how to reach out or who to reach out to. CD State of Mind is a new nonprofit in the Gunnison Valley. Our mission is to connect our community to education, resources, and free mental health scholarships to eliminate stigma, increase mental wellness, and lower the rate of suicide in the Gunnison Valley. My wife and her friends struggled to find that help because it was such a short term and they knew she needed long-term help. My nephew, on the other hand, is looking, has always been looking for that help. He's like, I know I need help. I know I'm getting to this spot, this depressive spot where I can't move. I'm, he's lost jobs over that depression piece. I kind of reached out to some friends and that was really good. Like I said, I haven't really opened up with other people about it. I just got like a lot of love and support back. You know, Melissa's best friend did that at our house. We were out of town, she's caretaking our house. We knew that she had, you know, some issues and she was struggling. And so we asked a tight group of friends that were kind of monitoring her. And we left town, we asked another friend to go check on her at our house and yeah, got the call, like she's killed herself. Our work is based on the foundation and belief that suicide is preventable and everyone has a role to play in preventing suicide. You don't have to be suicidal to reach out, you know, even if you just don't feel that great, you know, talk to somebody. And even if that's not the person, maybe you can ask somebody if they know someone they could talk to, you know. We have a network of 10 providers in Crested Butte that have agreed to partner with us. And as we build a scholarship fund, we will be able to provide free access to mental health services to people in need. First of all, I was just thinking about Catherine. And I was like, God, you know, that's, that is something where it was, I, I don't, you know, if we would have interjected now, who knows what would have happened down the road if we would have been able to get her the help right now. But then I look at my nephew, and I was just thinking, I'm like, God, you know, this is a this is a total success story where he is he has been down that road, his depression has been so bad, and now he's like for like the last couple months, he's been doing really well. I think it's easy to get stuck in the fishbowl of our own minds, and going to counseling is a really good environment because it's really safe and non-judgmental. And I learned how to kind of address the challenges that I was facing and bring them to the surface. Going, looking back at how bad everything was and at the drastic change in my life, um, it's worth it. It's worth every minute, you know? I wasn't excited about coming in here today to do this, but I think it's important and um, I feel like it could, could help somebody. I hope that CB State of Mind will be able to reach a lot of people. Anyone that I've casually talked to about it just thinks that it's a great idea because I think that everyone in the community knows that it's really necessary. I don't know what it is. I think it's maybe like an athlete mentality of asking for help sometimes can be seen as a weakness or felt that way. Um, but I kind of learned in the past couple of years that Asking for help is probably one of the biggest and most vulnerable strengths. You can find more information about CB State of Mind at cbstateofmind.org.